I like to say that uh, when you look forward in 10 years, um, and I'm comfortable in saying that this part of Jersey City, Journal Square specifically, will again be the heart of the city. Journal Square is truly unique. It's unique in its size, in its bold and beautiful appearance that you can see for miles and miles, in its luxury feel in the apartments, in its amenities. But it's actually like so much of the other product that we build at KRE, it's so relevant and fitting for its time and place and its neighbor and its neighborhood. Right now, 2017, right here in Jersey City, it might at first seem like a giant among so many other smaller and older buildings. But to us at KRE, this building fits in perfectly. This neighborhood, so rich in history, culture, and stature, so diverse and so well located, it actually just yearned for more. There are a lot of people that I, I need to thank through the planning process here. And I would really like to start with uh, Mayor Stephen Falk. So, uh, Mayor. Uh, I remember roughly four years ago when you were elected mayor, one of the first conversations we had was regarding your vision for Journal Square. And it was a neutral vision that KRE and your administration had. And you also had the confidence in us that we could actually accomplish this. We had lots of conversations. But, and I had lots of conversations with your deputy mayor, Marcos. I think Marcos is here. And working with your administration, you really stood behind us. You had the confidence in us, and you made this happen. So I, we really do need to thank you and your administration for making this possible today. It really was a complicated project that at many times people thought um, would never be realized. You know, if you look back at Jersey City, I could say comfortably probably for the last 20 years, uh, people have said that uh, investment in Jersey, Journal Square is just around the corner. Um, and today that really is realized. Uh, this job, we put thousands of people to work. This, this is dangerous work. This is not easy. For those of us who have jobs where we sit in offices and we worry about our stress and, you know, how we're going to please the boss, that's nothing compared to hanging on the side of a building like this trying to figure out how you're going to put some concrete in place and not fall off and kill yourself. We tend to forget that. We take it for granted. Um, with the investment that's happening here, with the developers that are involved here, with the new Pathside building that will become a cultural destination, with the renovation of the Lowe's Theater, um, this place will once again become that heart of the city. So we're excited about today. Um, it is something significant for the city, a significant achievement for the city. Uh, we are remaking the Jersey City skyline, and this building is an iconic building that you can see literally from anywhere in the surrounding area. And people know that that building's in Journal Square. So congratulations again to everybody involved. It really is a special day for all of us in Jersey City, and uh, we're excited to get started on the second project.